we are going to run through calculating some of the different scores as well as some of the squared different scores. Now these two are really important to distinguish um, and that, so this calculation is for the paired sample t-test. These two calculations are really important to distinguish because the the, the calculation or the equation for the pair samples t-test asks, asks for the sum of the different scores squared and it also asks for the sum of the squared different scores. Now these two are very distinct and they come up with completely different calculations or completely different results so it's important to know the difference. It's absolutely essential to know the difference. Um, so we will go through the calculation real quick of both of these and we will, um, we will identify both the sum of the different scores and sum of the squared different scores. So to start, um, say we have our 15 participants here, right? Our uh, pre-weight, our pre-program weight, and our post-program weight, right? So we have both of our participants here, um, or, or both groups here, um, and note that this is, these are the same people, right? Pre-program and post-program. They're the same people. So we have participant 1, 2, 3, 4, all the way down through 15, right? Um, so it's important to know that um, these are the same people. So if we're asking the question, is there a change in weight between the pre-program weight and the post-program weight, and what we have to do is we have to pair these people with themselves, right, pre and post. So we start by calculating the difference score. And what the difference score is simply the post weight minus the pre weight. So we'll go ahead and do that. Um, and I'm going to use uh, formulas here just, just to make it a little bit, bit easier. So what I'm doing is I'm going to push, push equals. Um, that's how we do it in Excel. And so we're going to do the post program weight minus the pre program weight. And we'll hit enter. And as you see, um, the person actually gained three pounds over, over the, the post versus pre program. Um, and what we can do is we can highlight this and we can bring it all the way down. So I'm just going to do this to cheat, right? I'm just going to do this quickly um, so you guys can get a sense of the idea of how we do this, right? So again, it's post program minus pre program. And we have to do that, do that for every single participant, right? So if there's a hundred participants, we have to do that a hundred times. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these different scores and I'm going to sum them for this equation here, the sum of the different scores. So all we're going to do is essentially add all of them up, right? Participant 1 plus participant 2 plus participant 3, so on and so forth, all the way down through participant 15. And the way we do that in Excel is we do our equal sign and then we do sum and then an open parentheses and what we can do is we can take the first one and drag it all the way down, right? And then close parentheses, and that will sum up those scores for us. So we now have our sum of the different scores, which we find is negative 666. Now what we want to do is we want to we want to start um, figuring out how to sum the squared difference scores. So we, we now have our sum of the difference scores. Now we need to sum the squared difference scores. So what we do is first, so, so first let me note, sum of the squared difference scores is not simply squaring negative 666. Um, so I'll do that real quick just to show you what that is, right? So negative 666 times itself is, is the squared, right? Um, so just to note, it, that's not what the sum of the squared difference scores are. Um, I'm just putting that here just to show you how different the numbers will be. Um, so to get the sum of the squared difference scores, first we need to square the difference scores. So the way we do that, right, a square is simply the number times itself. So what we'll do here is we'll take the difference score and we'll multiply each difference score for every single participant by itself. Right? So in this case, for, the, for participant number one, it'll be three times three. And we do that for the rest of the sample. And like the sum of the different scores, the sum of the squared different scores, 
is again the sum of this column here, the sum of the of the of uh, of the squared differences. So we do the same thing. We do sum, open parentheses, all the way up, close the parentheses, and there we go. So as you can see, this is about a, a tenth of the size of this one. So again, it's extremely important to know the difference between the sum of the squared different scores and the sum of the different scores when they are squared, right? Um, and you'll see those calculations.